cat. The cat's not the dipper flying. Wanna flick? Back off. Wanna flick? Flick in the nose because you tried stealing my frickin' fudge. I was taking the bees. I was talking to the cat. Fucking cat's a bloody nightmare. She'll f uh, something come. I would say comforting, but I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah, it's got chocolate, you fancy. Yeah, I've always been been drinking coffee and tea non-stop all day. It's nice, yeah, you got that right. Radio check, Wilson. Coming in nice and clear, Doctor Lynch. Great. First up is the purser's office on C deck, correct? You'll need to head down through the hole where the forward grand staircase was. I'll mark it on your map. The sea deck is pretty compressed from what I've heard. Yeah, the impact with the sea Mate. floor bent most of the supporting pillars, so they're struggling with the weight of the floor as well. So I'm just checking with the rate of decay Dev. increasing, it won't be long before it all I'm collapses. Exactly I'm, I'm glad we had a chance to come down here and see it for ourselves before all this becomes inaccessible. So I'm just making sure that cat don't do anything freaking stupid. Sorry, right, you guys. Just. And she was sinking fast then, and all of a sudden she lifted up quickly, and you could hear everything crack through her. Everything that was movable was going through her. And then she went down and seemed to come up again. So I thought, well, now I'm going to leave. And uh, I was hanging on to a board. We had two boards to start in the port that said. Keep clear of the pillar blades. And I was hanging on to one of these and I was getting higher and higher in the air. And I thought, well, now I was. So I know what to call this and video. I, and I hit the water with a terrific crack. Luckily, I didn't hit anything when I dropped in. There were bodies all over the place. And then I looked up at the Titanic. So the propellers were right out of water and the rudder was right out. And you could see the bottom. And then gradually she glided away and that was there along the Titanic. I didn't want to die. I, mean, I didn't see much chance of living. At least you something, Dad. Map. And uh, by the grace of God, I came across a lifeboat and they pulled me in. So I'm just, what, I've been playing on wrestling non-stop all day and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a break. So I'm going on Titanic VR for a change. That would have been, the, that would have been an area where people would have walked. I literally love this game so much. I, it does get a bit too much, I'll give you that. But it's worth the play, really. It's about £15 on PlayStation. Slight... Like, it's pl you can, it's it's um, a PlayStation VR game. It's also available on Steam. Good idea. Oh, I'll do that anyway. Oh bloody hell! Gonna go here. It's all right. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to. Here we go. Deploying Predator. Starting to descend. Starting. This has to be my favourite mission on the game, but my... But my most favourite mission has to be the Sturm, which is what I'll do at some point. Oh, wow, look at this. This game is just so heartwarming. Heart heartwarming. Also, you get to see the, um, what the remains of this ship looks like as well. I thought I'll give you guys an update on the Titanic Lego build me and my dad are doing. It's nearly done, we just got to attach the side of that bit of a ship on the, side, the other side of the ship and then we're building the stern. Um, the stern's usually the, probably I would say the hardest, but there has been 
professional Lego builds that the build build the Lego set within nine hours, but it's taken me and my dad nearly three, four months to build really. I think we started it in ja January. We started it in January, so it's taken us about nearly f four months to build it. So um it's a beautiful Lego set. Oh nice bathroom. If I needed a toilet, that's one spot I would go. Um, well, this is something absolutely amazing. Let's go down these into these rooms here. Wow, oh, oh, that room's a bit. That room is nice. I'll give you that. But the glitches and that sometimes gets a bit gets a bit too much. Um, here we go. I'm playing on Titan in VR. This game is my absolute. Literally, I would say lifesaver, but I don't know you lot. The uh, reason why I'm saying that is just literally this game's helped me through so much. Because I have got century integration just to put it out there. Let's just look out of this window a bit. There uh, we go. Not bad. That's the promenade deck. Wow. Comment down below which room would you stay in if you were if you ever boarded the Titanic 2 on its maiden voyage. Oh, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't have that room, but well, I would have a more cheap, cheap, polite room. But it would be a lot of money just to to to, to what was the word for it? It would be a lot of money just to buy a ticket to board the Titan. I would say over a f thousand or more. There we go. That's a nice room. This is nice. Oh, this is the other part of the pro. Oh, it's just a promenade. I'm just looking at all the. Here are my little James Cameron. That is a compliment. I know. Um. Yes. Here we go. I'm just adventuring through the Titanic, so if I let you guys know, uh, um, I'll probably be doing some Titanic Lego build tonight. But it depends. It really does depend if we do some or not. Um, we have nearly finished it. We've just got the stern to do, and that's about it. And. But we have got another Lego build to do. It's the Poe Dameron X-Wing Fighter. And I think that, apart from the Missouri, and that's about it, I think. Unless there's any else. Um... This is something else. This is a really, really good game. So I do recommend it to you people. I'm listening to ambience music right now, which is actually Alpen. Um. Wow. This is something else. I really love it. My sister's been a No offence you guys, but she does me head in sometimes. There we go.
love it. I'm just so relaxed right now. Listening to the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But I'm listening to ambient music right now, which is helping me relax. I do recommend you guys listening to ambient music. There's loads out there. There's um, ambient music like... The ambient music I'm listening to at the moment is called Finding Pandora. And the person that like wrote the pan finding pandora ambience music is called the vault of ambience and yes the vault of ambience does have a youtube so i do recommend you checking up checking the person out and uh we just came from down there now we're just gonna go back down this go down this way nice bathroom the walls are starting to disinte disintegrate you guys can see well, the cat's in the kitchen. Hang on a moment. It's alright, I'm just checking everything. It's alright, I'm just checking to make sure she ain't doing anything she's not, suppo not supposed to. Just gonna have a drink a moment. Well, I just, I'm drinking hot chocolate at the moment, some of you that are wondering. Here we go. I've been watching Solid Brick Studios as well. He does Lego live stream builds, so I do recommend you checking out him as well. Um, the one I, the one stream I re recommend you checking out of this is the one from February last year. What was it called? He built, he brought this Lego um, Harry Potter Hogwarts castle, the big one, and he built it during the stream. He streamed for like 12 hours, 11 hours. So, so I do recommend you checking him out. And Dwarble Mage as well. There we go, back in, into this room. Wow, look at this. This is something else, just having a good look at all the rooms. And the um, Lego Titanic, as I said, we've nearly, nearly finished it. We've just got to build the stern, and the stern's the trickiest bit. The middle was the easiest, and the, the front part was tricky, but we got the hang of it. Um... Uh, just looking at the um, furniture and all sorts. Um, I'm just overwhelmed just looking up. Looking inside of a sh beautiful, luxurious ship, ocean liner. And she was, she literally was so beautiful. I'm just going to look at these rooms quickly, just to make sure I've... Oh, that's a nice room. Oh, that's not bad at all. That bed's and... The, the furniture and that's starting to disintegrate. Um, there we go, going to go back... Down this way. Uh, we just come from up that way. I'm going to go back down this way. Hang on a moment. Uh. It's alright, sneezed a bit. Uh, here we go. There we go. This is the port side now. <laughs> oh, wow. 
This is just so overwhel- This is just so overwhelming. This ship is just so beautifully detailed how they made the ship look like- How they made it look like the actual wreck is just overwhelming. I'm going to go back down that way in a minute, just going to look at these two rooms. We could go through that, that side of the wall, but I've already done that. Wow, it's just so amazing. I literally am addic addicted to this game. I've been playing it a lot, playing it a lot most some of this year, and it's just so overwhelming. It's just you can. It is an emotional story about what happened for Titanic, and there's some there's people in this world that had someone that was on Titanic. Oh, boy, this is just something else. We can't go through that way, because that's at the point where the ship split in half. As you guys can probably see, is there a room back there? I'm gonna tr Well, you can't go any further because of obvious reasons. As you guys would know why. I don't have to say why because you guys can would already know why. Because I've already mentioned it. Um. And, um, she was just such a beautiful ship. This game is brilliant. I do recommend it. You actually get to explore Titanic inside and out of a ship. You get to explore the debris field and such. So I'm drinking... Hot chocolate, same, during parts. You're getting used to guys, me stopping and starting, because I'm drinking hot chocolate as well. This is amazing. I'm probably aiming for a 37, 38, something like that, depending on how I'm feeling, if I'm really up for a long video. I'm being really careful as well, because what happened to my last PS4 is because I was playing on it too long it overheated and the fans were the fans inside of the were getting bunged up as well with well I forget what it was but oh, there's no point in me explaining it because I have difficulties of explaining it hey! Hey! Oh, frick it hell the fans were getting bunged up and the fans were getting blocked is what I'm saying trying to say um, oh, frickin' I feel rough. And, um, and, uh, so basically I've been really careful. It's been a, it's been some months since I was last on the, on the PS4. I remembered me details, I just had to change, I remembered me email. I changed me password to, to something that I would remember. I'm 24 this year. I've been doing YouTube for about six years. This is something else. This this game is absolutely breathtaking. 
I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna go in this room quickly. Um, pardon me. I thought that was coming. There we go. So I've right, just got a bit of sniffly cold. Hang on. That's so right, my ear is a bit blocked. I swear to. Hang on. There we go. This is a good game as well. So I about just had to finish the rest of my chocolate. There we go. Pardon me.
Here we are. Great. The purser's office and inquiry desk are on the starboard okay. side. You'll need to go over the desk to get into the side room. Right, I'm here. The office is to the left as you enter. Be careful. This area hasn't been explored before. We don't know what we'll find in here. To think the last person in this room would have been Chief Purser McElroy. The record book would have been kept in a leather pouch. I don't see it here. Maybe try the safe back out in the inquiry office. The doors are rusted shut. We can't check inside. Hmm. Is the pouch among the debris? No, I can't see the leather pouch anywhere. We might be out of luck. That's a shame. We'll have to hope the Marconi room gives us some answers. While we're here, we should collect a sample of the rust on the safe doors. MCPA regularly check for new species of bacteria living in rusticles. I'll take a photograph and I'm of the sure they'll want a sample We'll need to see the rustical formations as well. Done. We'd better move on to the Marconi room. I'll mark it on your map. You'll need to head back to the sub to get there. One sink there, another sink there, and loads of toilets. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to check see what's through this doorway. I'll go through that way and I'm, I'm going that way in a minute anyway. A sink.
I'm glad. Um. The walls are starting to disintegrate. As you guys can see. That would lead to the um, squash court would be down there. The piano. Love you, Dad. I just want to see more of a ship.
I was just wondering what that little area was. That oh, would have been the bathroom. Hello, Ebs. That would have... I'm not so sure. That would have been the bathroom, as you guys can see, that's what it clearly says. To be honest, that would have... Well, you get the point. Um, another bathroom. We're on E deck at the moment. I'm just really curious as curious as these the one room is accessible to go in as you guys can see. Oh, it's a brass bed. Hang on. Brass bed. Well, long past Molly Brown's room at this point. Uh, duck down. If you guys haven't already, subscribe. I do recommend it, so I do daily gameplay content. Another Strauss room. It's just a big empty space. Just another. We're nearly at the other end now. That room I was on about. Why is that room? I was on about the the squash court would have been right down there somewhere. Now we're at the far end. Now we've just got to take a journey back. Well, let's see if we can go up here. Save so gun all the way. No, we can't. We're going to have to go the long way. Oh, this is something. I've already had a look at all of these rooms. I'm just gonna go back down this way.
The Marconi room isn't too far from here. Just between the first funnel and your current position. How do I get in? Either through the skylight or the corridors. Up to you which you feel is safer. Right, I don't want to damage the wreck. Or the ROV. Oh man, there really isn't much left here, is there? No, not really. Most of the furniture was wood, so it's almost all deteriorated. Oh, just three canisters. There's a lot of debris on the couch. I'll grab the last one. All right, I've got all the canisters. Alright, heading back up now.